Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the How to Train Your Dragon 2 Sheep Launcher game. It comes with four, includes four dragon figures, and it's for ages five and up. It's two to four players, and let's check out what's inside. Now this is kind of cheap because it's pre-owned. Um, I don't know where I got it from. So we might not have all the pieces. First we have the border where we throw like, um, we put in the baskets and we throw in the sheep. And then we have this bag filled with all the pieces. Remember, this is, this is pre-owned, so it might be a little messy. Um, I'm going to put up Um, I'll get this out and show you the pieces. So here's what we get in the set. Um, I knew there would be some pieces missing because it only has three playable dragon figures. I guess these are like your figures to move on the board because um, it seems like there's like a board under this thing. But again, I couldn't find it. It's like missing or something. I'm gonna go look for it, see if it's anywhere. If you guys hear voices in the background, it's my mom and dad talking. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, technical difficulties but I found the board. If you hear noises in the background or people talking, it's my parents. So yeah. Alright. So I found the board. I wasn't looking good, but yeah. I found the board and I guess these are the characters that you could put on the board. Um, oh yeah. gonna do is basically we slide these onto the corners And once you got that done, you put the baskets in. You need four baskets for each four colors. It is supposed to be up to four players, but since you don't have any triggers, I guess it should be three. But you could use replacements like other figures. And stuff like that, but we're going to do it like that. And then we have the four colorful launchers. You launch these into the baskets with the sheep's tokens. There's four different colors yellow, red, blue, and green. Now, basically, there's yellow, there's red, blue, or green tokens. And each color comes with three white sheep cards tokens. Three white sheep tokens. And with one black sheep token. The launchers um, signate the colors like blue goes with blue and red goes with red like that. And this game cost me five dollars, I think. I think, yeah, but I think it's, I don't think you could get it anymore by this point. It looks pretty old because it's from How to Train Your Dragon 2, which was made pretty long time ago. So, we have all of these. And make sure to go check out the new How to Train Your Dragon movie. Um, it's... Um, How to Train Your Dragon 3, um, I think it's the Hidden World or something, but it's a third movie. Make sure you go check it out. Um, 
I'll leave a link in the description where I got this and see if you guys could, if you guys want it, you could go there if there's anything near you. But there's only, um, they're only in Little Village. Um, and I had to travel a couple miles to get there because it's Village Discount Outlet. So, yeah, I think it's only in Little Village. Um, this is how you basically play. You get instructions too. I don't even know how to play. So, object. To be the first player to move your dragon around the game board. Okay, so you want to move your dragon around the game board. Now, contents. Game board for, okay, that just says a piece of setup. Use your package box for photo for reference. Now, I don't like that. It just just tells you a reference of where to put it. It says, look at the box for reference. Like, I already knew you had to build this because I figured it out. To, that's when I said technical difficulties. I figured it out when I said technical difficulties. That's why it was technical difficulties. I told you, there will be noises in the background. They'll be talking. But yeah, you have instructions. Baskets, carefully place two of the same color as the labels on each corner of the top of the frame. Turn the frame over and insert the four legs into each corner. Turn the whole piece over, stand it up in the center of the game board, and place the four nets into the four open sections. Catapults. Play it. So, you can take practice rounds before starting the game. Place any disc on your catapult, press down, and at the same time, I'll just read it. Well, you guys. Okay, so I learned how to play this game. Basically, the co there's different colored stickers, and well, you get to choose your basket up to four players. Now, there's a basket, and you get your coins, and you try to launch it in the other player's basket. And if you don't, you get zero points. And it's another person's turn. But if you make it in with a white sheep token, this fell on the floor, so yeah. If you make it in with a white sheep token in another player's basket, um, you get to move one space. If you make it in in your basket with this with a white sheep token, you don't move any spaces. Now, with the black sheep, this is why you only have one. You could you could take these back. Once you use all your tokens, you can take them back. Like, if you use your black sheep in the first turn, you can't get it until all your tokens are gone. So, um, the black sheep means if you make it in another player's net, you get to move four spaces. If you make it in your other, in your net with the black sheep, you get to move one space, which is minus three. And that's what how you basically play the game. The player with the most, the player who gets to the finish first because there's a game board and you keep going. The player to get to the finish first wins the whole game. And yeah, I like these little figures that you could be. Oh, oh God, favorite is Toothless because he's the main character and he's like the best for me. And like, hmm. He's like the main character of the story, like the main dragon. Um, and that's a look at how to train your dragon to sheep launcher game. If you guys are looking for a game night with your family, I think this would be a fun game to play with each other and have a cool game night together. But if you're just looking to play with two players or, or anything like that, I think it would be a little bit boring because there would be like two empty baskets and you could just take two. But I think a family game it would be better to play than this with two than two players. Or if you only have two members in your family, three players. Or if you only have two, then um, two players. But as long as with, you're with your family playing this game, I think it would be a good um, game to play. Um, I will leave a link into the description where to get this. Um, there's a bunch around Little Village because it's village discount, and I got it there. 
but if you guys can't get it there, um, I think there's other stores. Maybe look on eBay or something, or just for the game. I I got it in a village discount, but I'll leave a link in the description if you live in Little Village or Ford. And yeah, this was a good look at it. Um, it's a pretty fun game, as I know, because um, I played it once with my mom. This is what's been laying in my, um, in my, um, garage for a little bit, and I found it the other day, and I haven't played in a long time, but, yeah, bye guys, oh, yeah, bye, okay, I'll come right back, um, I actually forgot to tell you that. Um, I'm sorry for being gone for about three weeks. I think it was three weeks, maybe two. But I was gone for two weeks. I think my break ended as soon as I found this. Because I really wanted to do a review. And I just, I just like, I got a video idea. So I'm like, maybe this would be cool to do and review it. But, yeah. So basically you get, I forgot to name these guys. So you get Blue Dragon, I forgot her name because I, I know she's a girl in the movie. And then Toothless, the main character. And the twins, Dragon. There's twins, and they have a dragon, and this is a dragon. I forgot his name, too. So I have a crazy hair. I just went to the... I, I went to the forest, and I didn't get my hair done, and I put on my hat, and I got bothered. And I just took it off. and started having a crazy hair, and I can't get it put down, but guys, I really hope you have a great day today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.